today we're going to build a Wi-Fi display using an LCD and an ESP8266. And our LCD is a 4 line by 20 character LCD with an I2C adapter on the back. Next we have a Wemos D1 Mini. It is our ESP8266 Wi-Fi board and you can program it like an Arduino. We are also going to use four pull apart ribbon cables. There is no soldering involved in this project, it's pretty easy. Let's go search Google for the pinout so we can figure out which pins to use for the LCD. Using the diagram, we can see that the hardware pins D3 and D4 map to Arduino pins 0 and 2. So we'll use those for SDA and SCL to communicate with the LCD. First, we need to hook up the LCD so we can test it. We're going to hook up the power, ground, SDA, and SCL pins. We're going to use D3 for SDA and D4 for LCL. You could use other pins too. You just have to read the data sheet to see how they match up. Our next step is to use the I2C scanner sketch to find out what address the LCD is using. That way we can talk to it. You can find the scanner on the Arduino website. And we can open the serial monitor to see what the address is. This one is using 3F. Now that we know the LCD's address and our two pins we're using for SDA and SCL, we can open up the I2C LCD Hello World sketch and try and write something to the screen. This way we'll know that it works. Hey, it works! We can see our message on the screen with the little blinking thing like the sketch was supposed to do. Now that we know our LCD works, let's start working on a simple PHP script for the thing to display. Basically, we just want a web page that has four lines of 20 characters long that can do something neat. So we'll be using an easy little code in PHP to show the time and maybe a quick message. This can be added on to later to do other cool web service -y things. Now we can go back to the Arduino IDE and work on adding our web service call to the LCD sketch. There's some built-in examples that come with the ESP8266 core that are worth taking a look at first. All we really need to do is connect to our web page and display the contents on the LCD. We have to break apart the response into 20 character bits to fit on our LCD, but that's not too difficult. Now, after all that, we can plug in our USB thing and hook it up, and it should connect to our Wi-Fi, and download the web page and show it on the LCD. Hey, looky there! Come back next time, and I'll go through making a simple design that we can laser cut and make a panel to mount it in.